Well, it's early 2019, and uh, it's hard to believe that well, 2018 just... technically it's not yet 2019. Yeah, so it's New Year's Eve 2018 <laughs> right now, but by the time you see this, yeah. it's going to be 2019. And it's hard to believe we've already been through 2018. Time just flew by really, really fast, and like I told you before, every year it just goes by even faster, right? Well, I said to you when you were showing me the preview of your best of uh, 2018, I said to Rod, I'm like, man, we haven't done that many videos um, that was, you know, showcasing the highlights, but we actually got a lot accomplished and we did, yeah. I would say, um, you know, a pretty diverse group of videos. Yep, yep. It's funny because every year, I mean, as our life gets busier, um, now that you have a teaching job, um, I got two kids at home, our lives are extremely busy, but so, at the very be at the beginning of every year, I always say, "Ah, we can't do as much this year. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough and everything, right?" But every year, it seems like we've been, we're, we're still doing more and more, even though we're doing less and less trips. You know what I mean? Like we've, we've been, we're still pumping out more videos. Like even I'm surprised by the amount of content that we've been. I don't know how out. you do it. You're putting out so many videos, and I'm not even in half of them. Yeah. And you're still like managing to think of unique ideas and stuff yeah. that people are still interested in seeing. Because you think that like, I remember when we started this a few years ago now, and I thought like of all the different ideas that we could do, mm -hmm. I thought, man, we've accomplished everything. Like we've done your steelhead and your salmon yeah. and your trout and your lake fishing and ocean fishing. But there's always new videos and new ideas that we can um, feature and show show to BC. Yeah. And that kind of backs up my point is that you never stop learning. It just, there's just so much out there you can learn, so much out there you can explore. Um, it will just never end. Right? Yeah, never so, ending. But that's but, good though, because you don't want these videos to ever end. If we, mm -hmm. if we run out of ideas, then... Then it'll be the inner fishing rod. And then everyone will be so sad. I think, yeah. So this year we did quite a few new trips. We did the usual steel here. We did the ocean trip at Kaika. We did mm -hmm. um, so much Chinook salmon. We went um, on another helicopter ride with Nick. Yeah, and we did um, we did lake fishing at Highway 24. But we also did a couple of new, unique ideas. Do you remember what they are? They're so unique that I can't remember and I need you to tell me. Florida is one. <laughs> oh yeah, we to Florida. <laughs> so we went to Florida. <laughs> Probably not that memorable. No, it memorable. was, it was. <laughs> Florida and then Coastal Springs up at Night Inlet. Yeah. And so flying up on the, I guess, float plane up to the floating lodge, spending three nights over there, um, not just catching salmon, but seeing lots of different things at a new place in BC that we've never been to. That was a, that was a very, uh, very good trip in my opinion. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. And I, I really liked it. It was, it was um, the trip wasn't just about fishing and catching lots of big uh, salmon, but yeah. Yeah. You know, exploring the culture and the beaches and the and the crabbing like I love going crabbing yeah. and then the dock I couldn't yeah. I couldn't you know believe how many species were underneath that float lodge yeah. where yeah. we were staying Jill was she was a slayer yeah that was probably she my, was just yeah awesome yeah, at that yeah it's it, it was a lot of fun it makes you feel like a kid when you when you can jig for a little fish like that and you never know what's gonna come up and the excitement was it was pretty fun mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Florida, Tampa Bay, Florida was a good trip. Um, we had lots of challenges during that trip. So two of our fishing days didn't work out. So that was a bit of a disappointment. Out of the five days we were Five there? days, so. Or no, four? Four days, It was four days, like four yeah. full days. Yeah, and exactly, two of them yeah. were So we fished on the first day and we fished on the last morning before we flew back. And so that was somewhat disappointing, but it was fun. It's, um, it kind of gave, gave us a little bit of a taste of what the area has to offer it, and I can't wait to go back. I really want to go back. What do you want to go back for? <laughs> you got your redfish. I never caught a redfish, so I still want to go back for redfish, um, for snook, um, tarpon, tarpon yeah. grouper, oh, um, grouper amberjack. There's, it's amazing how many different species you can have in that area that go from Mexico. It's just, I was trying to think of other ones. Yeah, there's cobia. Yeah, cobia, that was we're, it. That's we're going to try for about. cobia, but we ran out of time, and um, but yeah, it's, uh, and there's Travelles at Travellies and yeah, just many different species we can target down there that we go back for. But there was other trips that you were talking about that you wanted to accomplish in 2019, not just revisiting Florida. Yeah, there's, um, so one thing that we've been trying to do is to expand our experiences outside of BC. So coming up in this year, in 2019, 
you know, there's a possibility that we might go up to Yukon, might be going to Alberta, um, Ontario. There's many different places, but nothing is definite yet. Everything's still being planned. Um, we just gotta, takes a while to finalize. Yeah. So what people don't realize is that when you, when we do a trip like this, it takes months ahead to plan it out. You know, there's a proposal that goes out to the sponsors to secure the funding. Then you plan out exactly when we can do it. You know, our, our dates have to coincide. Yeah, they have right? to align, yeah. So um, there's lots, and then the guides, the lodging and everything. So it takes a little planning to, to actually make it happen. Um, so without saying too much more about it, um, this is, that's, that's all I can say really. There is one trip that we can share with you. Rod and I are going to um, travel up to Kamloops at the end of this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. At the end of this week, and we're going to go back for an ice fishing video. Yeah, the last, time, the last time we did an ice fishing trip was two seasons ago. I can't believe that. That's just almost scary. Two like years yesterday. ago. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. So, and it was one of our better trips, I think. And um, a lot of people keep talking about it. And uh, so we want to go back and try another ice fishing show. Yeah, and apparently this lake has even bigger fish. So, yeah. and it's brookies and rainbows, and rainbows again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. as as last time. Yep. Yeah. But they're bigger. Yeah. But we got to make it up there driving through the snow. Oh no. Help me. So one thing in 2018 we did was getting your class involved. Yeah, we did. Uh yeah, well, we've talked about this many times yeah. and a lot of you hopefully by now know that we had them participate in a beach cleanup um, to help kind of reduce or yeah, reduce the impact of garbage going into the oceans and yeah. rivers. And um, we've t already talked about doing another class project um, yeah. involving Go Fish as well. Yeah, possibly, yeah. So, so Lender Fish. So um, our plan is kind of like keep going, keep doing this every year, come up with a topic that the kids can get involved with in a video. And think it's a pretty good legacy to leave behind. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's pretty fun filming with twenty kids, but it can. It's small this year. I got seventeen. Seventeen, yeah, but it can also be pretty interesting, <laughs> pretty stressful. Trying, it's like herding cats, right? And you're trying to, hey, come on, come over here, and you know, trying to get them all in line and make sure they all look happy in front it's of like the camera. It's like trying to deal with a bunch of duck-sized horses. Yep, yeah, duck-sized horses. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty much, that's a good description. Almost impossible. No, so. no, 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 it's not. We, we got this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the most memorable projects that we had this year actually included April Vokey. Um, she ended up coming over to your house mm -hmm. and we did a podcast together. Right here. Right, right over yeah. there. And uh, it was a really awesome experience for me. I'm like, I don't know, pretty big fan of her. And I um, look up to what she does in the industry and how mm -hmm. she represents female anglers so well. And um, it's already come out. Yep, it's already out. We'll put the link on the bottom mm -hmm. so you can go, you guys go click, click on it. It's 40 minutes long and uh, basically talks about our background, how we got together and, and start doing these videos. But we also talk about some other important things, things like um, um, incorporating fishing into schools. Uh, yeah, uh, so bringing education and fishing um, together. We, we, we did talk about a little bit about the garbage cleanup as well, um, environmental issues. We talk about how social media impacts fishing as well. I think that's pretty, pretty important. Talk. We talk, talk about that. Conservation too. Do we do? Yeah, we, we talk about how how it changes our behaviors. How social media changes our behavior a little bit. And how to deal well. with it. The how pressure. to deal with it. You know, the pressure. I don't. Yeah. So that's uh, something. It's worth listening to. Let's go check it out. And April and I, we've we've known each other for. Um, ooh, how old am I? <laughs> For like 15 years now, it's uh, so it was it was very nice to, for her to come over here. I don't see her very often uh, to actually sit down and have a conversation about it. So that was it was a very good conversation. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a busy week. We had that. We we did the podcast, and the next day we went on the helicopter. Oh, that then, helicopter! I've been waiting for that video to <laughs> yeah. come out for so long. Yeah. Uh, Nick really went all out when he did yeah. that. When he took us around mm -hmm. um, parts of, of, I guess, well, we flew it out of Southern British Columbia, yeah. yeah it's gorgeous. A, yeah, just places that you didn't think existed in, in, right by in this area. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, uh, it, was, it was pretty fun, yeah. It was wild. Yeah. yeah, so that video is coming out very soon. So we did that, and then the next day we went to Kaiku. It was just one week. Was it? It, it was wasn't the next day. It was like a day after. It was in the same week. 
it was that evening the next day we, we left here. Oh, so it was like one after another one. We were pretty exhausted after like six days, but it was, uh, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that and that fishing too is so good again in Kaika. Like yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. So the Kaika video is coming out in March, I believe. It's, and and uh, we, we filmed it with Matt, mm -hmm. our good friend Matt who is the youngest fishing guide in BC. He's the one that we um, did the soul mass video this yeah. year with. Yeah. And there's some, there's some parts that I'm so excited to share. Mm -hmm. Maybe you might even see them before. They're in the bloopers. Oh yeah, in the bloopers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the blooper video is coming out soon, so yeah. Yeah. Three favorite fishing moments um, on Fishing with Rod in 2018. Oh. No, I'm thinking, <laughs> I really want it to be, mem like I'm thinking, there's so many, like it's hard for me to pick the top three. I really like doing that Q&A at Murphy's. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. That was one of my favorite videos to put together because yeah. some of the questions were so interesting. Yeah. And it was, it was just a very kind of light conversation. Yeah. That actually was, it was one of my favorites that comes to my mind first. Well, having a conversation with you guys is, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, yeah so well, you have that connection with yeah. the audience too, right? Yeah. So yeah, I like that. Yeah, uh, that's something very different to like a TV show that you don't really have that. So being able to connect with the audience is, is really fun, I think. Catching the redfish was unbelievable. Like being around those mangroves and casting mm -hmm. at them. And then like, because we were, we were fishing with live bait. Yeah. And like letting those, what were the um, pinfish? Yep. Was it pinfish? Mm -hmm. Throwing the pinfish in and just like, waiting for those bites was crazy. And then when we caught it, you know, um, and kept it and then took it over to the restaurant next door when it started yeah. to rain, mm -hmm. that food was so yeah. good. We had it, I think, blackened. Blackened and, and kind of like a- Battered. Battered fried, mm -hmm. yeah. The blackened was better, I thought. Oh, so it was good. Really, really want to go back. But it was just like so pretty, <laughs> was, like their scales were yeah. like almost like a, like carp mm -hmm. with like an armor. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Which was yep. different. Mm -hmm. Yep. The food in Florida is definitely one of my favorite moments in Oh yeah, and the restaurant with Bobby yeah. too. Yeah, so we... we the, was it two so even though, yeah, even though the fishing was not great, we had grouper cheeks in the first day that was unreal. Uh -huh. And then we had, went to a Mexican restaurant that we had um, the tuna. I can't remember what it's called, but... Um, it it was, was like an avocado, like almost oh, guacamole. It was, Hungry. Fish. I know. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was amazing. So the food in Florida was amazing. Um, I, I really liked the whole atmosphere of being able to, you know, everything's so fresh. Mm -hmm. you know, the fish are right there, right? And then what they serve in the restaurants are caught, freshly caught on that day. Uh, so that was one of my favorite moments. Yeah. Oh, my so second good. favorite moment is watching Allison catching her I was going to say that. I was going to, now I look like the bad friend. <laughs> I was actually going to say that I was, it was going to be between okay, either so, helicopter yeah. or Allie catching her yeah. biggest fish. And then I wanted to say Allie, but the helicopter <laughs> ride was so wicked that I don't think yeah. you could beat it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why? it's not, it's not in that order, right? No, so, it's yeah. not in an order. Yeah. Yeah. So Allison catching her first sturgeon, first fish, and it was like eight foot long. And that, that fish, when it jumped out the first time, oh, it's that, that was probably the, the, mate, the most favorite moment. It was, uh, I don't know how those fish can push themselves out of the yeah, water. 300 pound fish jumping straight out of the water. Um, but seeing that raw excitement that Ellie had, that was, uh, that was, that was all worth it. I don't need to fish that day. I'm just gonna, you know, that was, that was amazing. Yeah. You let us yeah. do all the hard work. So yeah. And she, she did the whole thing. Mm -hmm. She pulled. Yeah. So that was, that was, that was good. So yeah. What would be your lowest point in 2018? I don't know how lowest. Like lowest, what is lo define low? I don't know, like what's... It doesn't have to be low as in like super negative, but just, what, what was it? Was it? Honestly, get it, I thought we were gonna miss that flight. When we were in Florida, oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, freaked yeah. me out yeah. when we got there because our flight, yeah. was, was it delayed? So what we happens, had no time. what happens was flying back from Tampa Bay to Toronto, we had to get on the next plane from Toronto to Vancouver. The, I don't know what they were thinking, but the time, we arrived on time, but the, the time, the, the layover time was too short and the um, clearing the custom. I was gonna say going through customs. Immigration was, the lineup was way too long and it was only that, we only made it because we 
because you used your fishing with rod card and he's like hey guys i'm fishing with rod can i, yeah. can I go fast we, we cut through no. like we cut through like a million people to get in front of everyone and and then we ran we, we literally ran <laughs> to the to the next flight to oh. catch it so that was pretty stressful but i mean i, I, I i've done so many flights it's not it's I not haven't. it's not the worst i've seen so it's not yeah i was pretty terrified I, i've i've done closer than that before I wasn't, I didn't really care if I had to stay there for overnight and be home the next day, I was fine with that. <laughs> well, you've never been in Toronto, have you? No, ne never in, yeah. It's pretty, it's a nice city. We gotta go. I've already been. Yeah. Take me. <laughs> my, um, my lowest moment in 2018 is dropping my camera in the water. You weren't there. Oh, uh, is that Red Ox? Yeah, Red Ox Ranch. Ranch and, uh, and you know, when you do this filming, you get pretty tired, and a lot of times you you, you you have shortcuts and you get a little lazy. And just for a very brief moment, I have my camera sitting on the tripod on the boat, and I kept walking. And I, I you know, on the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, that tripod should be laid down because if that, cam there, that camera is going to tip. So, sure enough, as, as soon as I walked by the camera, I could hear the splash right behind me. And the, the, the tripod actually tipped because I rocked the boat too much and the camera went in the water. Um, then I grabbed the tripod, pulled it up. And you know what? I, I wasn't even like, I wasn't even like devastated. It was like, oh, great. So, and sometimes fishing didn't work out, you know, during the trips and like Florida, for example, the, the, the fishing didn't work out. But, you know, we, we were a little disappointed at the time. And, but now we think back, you know, it's, it is the way it is, you know, fishing, it happens. Still a trip to Florida. Yeah, I know, yeah, still a trip to Florida, so yeah, yeah, so we went to the aquarium instead. Mm -hmm. So that yeah, was we fun. saw our fish there. Yeah, we saw our fish there, <laughs> the ones we didn't catch. So, so we should thank our sponsors um, for these videos because without them, uh, we couldn't possibly produce, you know, all these episodes and all the content oh, no. that you see. Um, on this channel, um, it's we're very grateful for that. So Gibbs Delta Taco, uh, Shimano Canada, Adam Dario, Scotty, um, Sega Fluorocarbons, and Yamaha boards. I mean, there's 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 many sponsors. Um, some provide the fundings for it. Some um, simply provide um, products and stuff as well. So it's uh, it, it varies a little bit. Every little bit's help as well. So and there's many different lodging and resorts that have um, helped us out as well. So that's oh, great. Oh, for sure, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and putting themselves out there and offering yeah. such great services yeah. that will be yeah. forever remembered. Yep. Yeah. Coming up in 2019, um, we got Sings uh, Fishing products. So waders and jackets, they're gonna be helping us out. I'm very grateful for that. And uh, you know, I've always bought Sings since the very beginning. So I'm very happy about that. And that's one thing about the sponsors. You know, we're not, we don't just take on anyone who come to us or who we don't just ask anyone for a sponsorship, but um, we ask for companies that we really, really As like. As the products that you really believe in. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to be promoting products that we don't really use. Um, it's, it's, it's always going to be what we like, what we think is best. And I want to show it to you guys, right? So, and you guys. <laughs> Don't forget you guys, right? I was just about to say, I can't believe you forgot that like no, the most I'm important saving audience, the like best the group. for the last. So, and you guys, mm. you, you know, without you guys watching, keep watching and um, bring the viewership up. Believing in us, giving us such great feedback. Like Rod no. will, you know, he'll, he'll screenshot messages that people have sent about, you know, the videos and what their yep. thoughts are. And yep. they're so uplifting. Yep. And um, yeah, the comments really, we, we love, I love reading all the comments and every time, you know, I see something that's pretty meaningful, I'll, I'll send it to her as well. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful for that. You know, the people saying that not just they love the videos, but they, um, they, they it helps them to get through certain challenges in life as well. And uh, that's, that's very, uh, very overwhelming for me to read that. Well, really detailed and thought out, thoughtful messages, not yet, like you were saying, yeah. awesome vid yeah. first, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Knowing that we can help people in life and, uh, you know, bring them some joy of fishing into their life as well. That's, uh, it's, it's, it's very satisfying. 
Well, we're really looking forward to what 2019 has to bring. Um, hopefully many new adventures, many mm -hmm. new places in the province that we can visit, visiting other provinces, maybe other countries, um, targeting new species, yep. and really exploring and making fishing with rod even better even for this bigger, year. Yeah. Even bigger and even better. Yeah, yeah. So we want to thank you guys again. And as always, until next time. Good luck fishing.